Okay, so the first variation of this combo I want to talk about is when you hit the attack, hit the downlight really, really close on the ground, so stacked with your opponent. So say I'm this close to Mordex here, and I downlight him, your opponent will end up closer to you in the air. So to avoid overshooting it, um, when you go for the recovery, you want to make sure you to not hold the forward key at all. So something like this. By holding just the down key and not forward during the dash jump, you won't accidentally overshoot the recovery. If I were to do the same thing, but hold forward, you can see the combo just drops. So if you ever hit your opponent really close on the ground and you want to kill them, make sure to not press the forward key at all and you should get the combo every time. Okay, so the next and arguably most important variation of this combo, we have the spaced downlight. So we just covered being stacked with your opponent. Now we're gonna cover being a little farther away, so maybe this distance. And because you're hitting the downlight farther away, your opponent will end up slightly farther away from you after the downlight is over. And for that reason, to compensate for that, I do recommend holding forward during the dash jump. So something like this. So if I slow that down for you, you can see I dash jump, holding down forward, and then release, recovery, and then I actually hold backwards, or to the right in this case, to slow my momentum down to make sure my opponent doesn't fall out of the recovery. Now the reason for this is because if I were to do the first variation in this situation, the combo can actually drop sometimes. So I'll just show that real quick. You can see, if I just hold down during the dash jump here, it completely whiffs, my opponent can dodge out. But if I were to hold forward, the combo works just fine because of that extra distance from the dash jump. So the next variation I want to talk about is the gravity cancel downlight recovery at low damage. This one looks like this. It's actually really easy to execute once you hit the gravity cancel downlight. All you have to do is hold forward and then press dodge and heavy attack right after one another. this. And yeah, the reason it's good is because of the damage. It actually does the most damage of any gravity cancel downlight combo, so it's pretty good at low damage, and it's definitely worth learning. Just as a quick side note, you can hit this combo grounded if you hit a close downlight at low damage by doing a jump into the recovery. However, I find it to be pretty inconsistent, and I usually prefer to just go for a downlight side light anyway. So, I wouldn't really recommend learning that combo. Alright, so the final variation of this combo, and the most tricky one to land, in my opinion, is the gravity cancel downlight at high damage. So the thing that makes it difficult is the fact that you have to hit the downlight stacked and gravity cancelled, which is pretty tough. So you have to hit it around this area. And once you hit the downlight, it's pretty easy to execute, because similar to the last one, all you have to do is hold up forward, and then press dodge and heavy attack. Like this. So easy to execute once you hit the downlight, but actually getting in the position to space this downlight properly for it to combo is pretty tough in a real match. However, it does occur from time to time, and it's definitely worth knowing. If I even hit it from like this far away, you can see the combo doesn't work. So in this situation, um, if you're not sure whether it'll connect or not, I would just go for a side air. But if you are stacked in the air with your opponent like this, then you might be able to sneak in a recovery and get an early kill. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified of my future content. I recently created a Discord server, so if you want to come be part of the community, feel free to join. The link is in the description. And on that note, I'll see you all in the next video.